Okay, hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 and this time I'm not as irritated. You will see in the future when, yes. when this review comes out in June, but this one will come out as soon as possible. I am with my usual cohorts. Creeper more than one. And, or from Joker. And uh, we were supposed to cover this film as soon as we were done with the series, but it got put off because we were completely fucking done with the series and this movie is President Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. <laughs> get into our thoughts I'd like to share the uh, ratings and numbers for this film which I've noticed I've kind of slowly taken over that duty from you <laughs> so I innovated it though so starting off with the ratings Maybe? credits rated this film a 3.1 out of 10 and audience gave this film a 6.5 out of 10 3.1? yes on the credits movie Critically. and then so budget wise this film was 25 million dollars they made back in the box office forty one point nine million dollars. So Holy crap. About twenty million more than what they did. I will say before we get into it, I am pretty damn sure we all went into this with very low expectations, like the lowest you can think of when it comes to seeing complete garbage and thinking, Oh, we're gonna say another film. Like it was gonna the get same a two. title. Like it was it was it was I was thinking a two. Okay. Jo Joker, you go first please, since you're the you're the blind one. Okay, I had erased Resident Evil from my mind so much that I couldn't even remember who the fuck a Wesker was. I was like, who's a Wesker? Why does that name sound like it's slightly familiar? <laughs> and guys are saying, holy fuck! And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what we're all excited about, buddy. I don't, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm not going to compare this movie to other movies. I'm just going to compare it to the originals. The zombies were much better. It didn't start with the whole, like, mystery confusing lab whatever which i didn't like in the first movie my name is alice i hate that <laughs> my name is alice i'm telling you a story i told you seven times already the zombies were cool i liked it like people were slowly being poisoned in the water i liked some of the twists and turns in this like the cop being like oh you guys are fucked by to like oh shit i'm back <laughs> Me not knowing the video game characters, I didn't know who was going to die and who was going to live on. I liked that. Some characters died, some characters didn't die. You didn't know. We were moving on. You know, who's going to be alive in the end, who's not. That aspect. I liked the the liquor. I liked the, the, the way the scientist was slowly mutating on screen. Like, as he's walking, spikes are coming up out of his back and he's slowly mutating. William. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. How the frick did Chris not get eaten by those zombies in the house? Don't know. I think that's pretty sketch. It's lower review for that. It's Chris. It's plot armor. Also, I don't like plot armor. Plot armor is bullshit. Also, a dude with the mutated arm could have easily killed him the multiple times he grabbed him by his throat. Yes. He crushed his throat. But he chose not to. Yes. People, people because, should have been dying in this movie that weren't dying. There is a thing that, that, uh, that he forgot about called plot armor that prevented him from hurting it. Yeah, because it's Chris. Uh, something I did like is that the the zombies follow more of what the original T-Virus said it was supposed to do, which is make people more violent and, and you know, angry and want to attack people, which is what I felt like it was. They were slowly turning, their hair was falling out. They just wanted to attack people. They weren't trying to, to like, it wasn't an objective. They didn't feel slow. They felt kind of fast and just became violent. More like what they said, more like a weapon and less like... In the... And Mindless the, zombies. The vial that they had used on what's his face was the G virus because it had a G virus. Yeah, because there's different yeah. strains. And the virus vials didn't look shitty. They didn't look like some sort of like twisted DNA goopy stuff for the bottle vial. Yeah, it looked like an actual vial. I really like them bringing the the Doberman Pinscher back. That <laughs> the consistency. I liked the acting in this. I felt other than some areas, I felt like. People were actually like, oh shit, what the fuck, what the, what am I doing? What the, I don't, I don't know, I said, what the, <laughs> Like, people's reactions to certain things, remembering things, freaking out, holy shit, what the fuck is that? You know, that's, you know, there's a lot of oh shits in here. The oh shits seemed well placed. Overall, uh, I enjoyed this movie more than, I think, any other Resident Evil movie. You know, there's a lot less action, 
there's less like pizzazz wow. But I mean, it was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. What's your rating? The guns actually worked. The zombies were cool. I don't know what I gave the original Resident Evils, but I feel nothing like above a five. <laughs> okay, good. Nothing good. above a five. I was like, I don't, I don't want to watch this movie again. I don't think it any of like, us super gave cool. anything above five. I didn't get five. any of the references in it, but the guys seemed to think it was cool, so they'll give it higher ratings. When I felt like it was worth my time, you know, <laughs> and more I yeah. don't have my piece of paper, so we'll change it after credits if it's different. But it's the worth my time score, which I'm pretty sure is a seven. It, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't fantastic, but it was worth my time. So like a six and a half, seven. Rick and Margin, since you all have right, to ladies, go to bed, ladies and go, gentlemen, go, go. sons and daughters and fathers of all ages. We have reviewed. Are a, you the ringmaster? We have. Uh, I have the football currently. Um, <laughs> we have watched another Resident Evil film. I was hoping I would never have to do that. Uh, I did not like that at all. The moment you said that, something went <laughs> boom out there, and now I'm fucking scared. I what something has just arrived. went pop I outside. The dog farted. No, that was something that went boom outside at a very long distance. Yeah. Well, Only us here. Continue, please. They're here. So, this movie is a direct A. These video games, let's make a movie. Cool. This was a rare case of the video game adaptation being good. Oh, yeah. They did a lot of things very well. And and the story was good. Acting was good. Um, the lighting was fucking awful. <laughs> Minus four points for the lighting. It did not work in the dialogue and like the storytelling scenes early in the movie. It was awful. Mm -hmm. Awful setup. Now, it looked good in the police station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all that. It's light in the police station. Yeah, when there was a little bit of light. But any scene that where it was supposed to be a, a room with no lighting, you're supposed to make it to where we still see it, and it looks like it's dark. Like your eye, the camera should look like your eyes are adjusted. Ah, so ABPR. But this one it's, was just like, uh, hey guys, we're just not going to have lights. Let's just turn off the lights and start recording and see what happens. Yeah, oh, yeah. it looks awful? Publish. So this is a reboot. Oh, fuck. It definitely this is, is a, a reboot. This is a reboot. <laughs> It has a bunch of different characters that were in the old one and in the video games where everyone's like, I know who that is. So ever, so they have a good thing like trying to connect. Oh, this is how this guy's going to end up like this. Like the Wesker thing is very good because you're like, hey, hold on. This Wesker guy seems nice. Uh, that's not how Wesker is. He's an asshole. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Wesker. As the movie progressed, you're like, oh, Wesker's doing asshole things. And, and, and even though he's not a complete asshole yet, you can see how he turns out to be this super evil dude. Um, and then the influence that it looks like leading off into the next movie. Yeah. Which means this is not the last Resident Evil movie we will probably watch. I like this movie significantly better than all of the other Resident Evil movies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think this is the best Resident Evil movie because it's at no point in the movie I said. I want to blow my fucking brains out with a penny shotgun. <laughs> yeah, oh, what the fuck? You mean a quarter shotgun? <laughs> what the fuck ever. Um, I, I didn't hate myself. At, right about five minutes before the movie ended, I was like, oh my god, when is this movie going to end? Um, and then it finally ended, and I was like, oh, okay. I don't oh. like the guy who played Leon Kennedy. I don't, I don't think that's a good Leon. I've seen worse betrayals of Leon. Um, yeah. hey, over here, over yeah, here. Yeah, we don't talk about that one. So casting wise, I felt like it was okay. I feel like it was kind of hit or miss a little bit, but they they were literally like pulling directly from the shit. Oh, also, nobody died in the making of this movie. Yeah, That's right. Unlike like, like in final chapter, <laughs> unlike final chapter, it was the stunt woman. Real people died. Oh, it was the final chapter for somebody. At the end of this video, we will leave a, uh, a, a little end thing where you can click on it and you can watch us talk about that very thing. Yep. Yep, link to that video. In the great video. detail. Uh, graphics were great. When you could see shit, when the lighting wasn't <laughs> fucked. I didn't like the liquor. I know you guys said you liked the liquor, but I did not like the liquor. It, it looked a lot it, better than it did in the last... Yeah. So here's yeah. my I reason. I like that it wasn't like the size of a like an elephant. It didn't look bad. It's just the liquor is like something that's supposed to be really fucking serious. And it, after they killed it... It was on the same level as like a fucking hound, like oh, a yeah. zombie hound. Yeah, I it, mean like it's supposed to be something fucking big. And you're like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? And a huge issue throughout the movie, and then they finally kill it a little bit further in. Like it's not a conehead kind of thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like it, it just felt weak, and I was like, are they at least gonna have like a dozen liquors that they're gonna fight off? But no. I know, I know they become more 
important in like the yeah. next second or third game. This is first one, so they're trying to have it where it's really early on in the week as fuck. But as far as I feel like the liquor is something that the Resident Evil series has done a really good job of fucking up every single movie in some way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but but and it's the, always the spiky tongue though. It's always one of the most hyped things in the movie. Like, oh my god, it's gonna be the winner. It's gonna be the winner. It's also a like, tiny little liquor. So. Oh, that's what they're doing with the liquor in this liquor. movie. Little Presentation wise, by like the look of it, this is the best looking one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's my thing. The lighting for me takes us minus four points. That's how fucked. Seriously? It's unexcusable. It is unexcusable to have lighting that bad in a high production movie that had. What was the budget? 25 million? 25 million. 25 million. 25 million. The lighting was that bad. Are you kidding me? Who made this? Listen, I have a rating for it, and I know that Josh was like, oh, it's like I said. Oh, no. Uh, here's my thing with Resident Evil. And I'm telling you this right now. If I ever rate a Resident Evil over a 5, over a 5, I'm going to fuck a balloon on national television. This is not a 5. This is not even a 4.5. This is a 4.2 for me. I don't know what I rated all of the other Resident Evils. But I'm subtracting five points from all of them to make them below this one because this is the best one. The thing about all of the main characters being in here is a big negative for me is because um, usually when you're playing a video game, it's focusing on those set people at a time. This is all over the fucking place with all kinds of... When's the last time we had a Resident Evil movie with all of those characters in one movie? This um, one. No, 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 it was fucking Retribution. And that exactly, fucking and that was the trash. worst fucking movie of the series. That's why this one needs a higher rating. They're covering too many pe- too many main characters, having them do too many different things, at too many different angles, um, and, and I feel like it's just a mush fuck fucking... <laughs> a mush fuck? A mush fuck melon fucked inside of a goddamn walrus. <laughs> if you think if you think Krieger's being too rough, then put down what do you think he should have said instead listen, of fuck melon. Listen, listen. <laughs> I, I'm I, again saying this. I have a pre after covering the entirety of the Resident Evil series. I have a predisposition to hate the Resident Evil series. You know how much I hate it. Um, when I got the mic, I was just going to say my rating's four point two three. I'm going to bed, and then I said, "Fuck this movie and fuck this stupid ass series. <laughs> this sucks." Because they have a, a, a couple aspects that I felt like they did right, but other than that. I still hate the series. I still wish that it would go and blow into an atom bomb's fucking asshole. My thoughts on the movie. I did also have an issue with the old grainy look and the very dark filter. It had like an old, like a very low budget look or an old like film look and whatnot. Again, set in 1998. Kind of weird that they decided to do this dark of a filter for a film that's $25 million. But I guess they were trying to add the spook factor to it, which... Kind of helped, but at the, same, at the same time, I mean, we have AVPR, which is worse than this. I was a bit confused with the origin story in the beginning, but the later on in the film, it kind of tied in together with all that stuff and whatnot, so I can cross that part out. Yes, it follows the events of the games, but if uh, when it comes to, I guess, more in-depth uh, Resident Evil fans, this actually follows two games at the same time. But I also think that... The two games that they're copying are they happen same time when when like as they as they progress. I kind of felt like the dialogue with the characters were okay. It was better than what we've previously had. Um, unlike uh, Krieger, I could relate to at least some of the characters at some points, but I could also nitpick at some of the like it did feel like we were watching Resident Evil One with <laughs> the bad um, dialogue from the game. I liked the tension and the slow build in the beginning and how it actually gave a creepy vibe and actually this actually felt like a horror movie, a horror zombie movie. It actually felt like it and I liked that a lot about this film. There was a couple bits here and there that I was like, what the fuck about like the fact that Leon was wearing Walkman headphones and asleep and he didn't he still didn't hear a goddamn semi truck crashing and blowing up at the front door. That was like that was bullshit. Also the fucking goddamn music dub over the scene with the flaming guy walking up to the desk. I thought that they could have not, they could have just got rid of that song. Like, put the, put the fucking, like, oh, original soundtrack creepy stuff in there. Don't put, it's just 
She's like, why would you put that in the middle of a goddamn also, movie that kills the pacing? Also, the walkie was kind of weird. It wasn't like a zombie walk, but it wasn't also like a human walk. It was just like, oh. It was like, he, he was just like walking in like, hey, what's up, bro? Okay, CGI. I will not knock too many points off of it because it's kind of a lower budget film. Um, the CGI of the crows, they looked all right, but they also looked like absolute shit. It was the weakest CGI part of the film, I thought. Oh, the flappy crow was so The bad. dog was probably the second to least, like, second best looking thing in the film, CGI-wise. Still looked a little rough on the edges, especially when it was getting fucking beaten down with the fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Some of the zombies, you could tell some of them were CGI. It looked like they had an extra layer of skin over their face, which was kind of weird. Um, and then, uh, kind of tied between the liquor and the transfer, the tris the Infected William Birkin, Dr. Dude, they kind of looked good, but at the same time, it's like they were just same level. Like Best looking CGI games. things in the film, but you could tell they were CGI really bad. That pretty much covers all that I've written down because I stopped writing stuff halfway through the movie. Um, there are seven characters from the game in this movie. There's Chris Sinclair Redfield, there's Jill Valentine, Leon S. Kennedy, Albert Wesker, William Birkin, and Ada Wong. That is seven characters in one movie. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of characters in one film. They're also covering two games at the same time. Rating-wise, I would say that this is, across the board, everyone says this is the best one we've seen. And I feel like taking that long break in between the series and this was probably a good idea. <laughs> but I am probably going to rate this film... I don't think it was a four. I don't think it was a four and a half or a four point two. I don't think it was that low of a rating. But I'm not gonna go with the seven because I feel like a seven's too strong for a film like this. I'm gonna go. I have to go with a six and a half, like a happy middle in between. Because yes, oh, there was a lot of things that I liked about this film. There's a couple things I didn't like about it, like some of the casting. I didn't like at first, but it kind of just grew on me and everything, so that's a six and a half for me. For Resident Evil, welcome to Raccoon City. Any last thoughts, you lovely gents? Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on the possibility of a sequel for this film? Should they do I it? Would they actually, definitely lined it up. I would it. actually watch it, because it looks interesting. I, too, yeah. I, like, I like the actor they picked for Wesker. Financially, do you think it's a smart play to make a second one? Because they only, they only doubled their budget. It only, I mean, yeah, it depends. Yeah. It depends. I, f I feel like if they were, they need to not rush it and take their time. Like, if you're a production company and they said, hey, we want to make the second one for this. We made $25 million profit. We won $150 million. Okay, just so I... They, I, need to, they need to take their time because okay. if they rush it like Paul S.W. Anderson did with his six films, it's going it's going to can really fucking fast. They need say, to take their time. Most of I the know. time, films like this that don't have a guarantee for return are production hell because they try to budget cuts. And yeah. A shortcut and make things work. It had very little promotion... It had a promotion for like two weeks before it came out, and it was like released like limited uh, for a lot of places. So that's probably also why like very little promotion, and it was it was limited release. But I wouldn't be surprised if even the original fans were like, "No, I don't want to watch a reboot." And so even the regular fan base didn't come out. Like comparing this to like the new Scream movie, the Scream movie grossed like a hundred million dollars. Another another point I want to bring up is that like there's probably people out there who absolutely fucking hated this movie and thought the original six was fucking five stars because I I've actually met and talked to people that said that I'm not gonna go watch this new film because yeah. if it because it follows the games more. I like the old ones with Alice. And I'm like, that's your opinion, but I think you're crazy. Yeah, I agree. Crazy. They can like the old ones with Alice, but there's no way that they can say the old ones are with Alice or five stars. No. There's you people out there that would. You can't argue that. I know who, I know you can't, but I know people out there who would die on that hill. I people, dare. people have opinions. One person to try to tell me that. If they do, I will literally shove a potato up the night in. This is Mike Check 95 and we are officially done. Done, 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 done yeah, with Resident Evil. Completely done with Resident Evil. I'm happy we're done. <laughs> For now. Still no sirens, we're good.